find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points minus three comma ten and six comma minus eight is divided by minus one comma six. Now there is some line segment that joins these two points. This point divides that line segment. We have to find what is the ratio in which it divides it. Now I'm taking the word of the question setter that this point is on this line segment because it it could not it, it's possible that this point is not even on that line segment. But I'm assuming that the question setter has already taken care of that. Assuming that's the case, I need to find the ratio in which it divides it. Now, even before I start thinking of this question, like even to start doing that, I need a picture of my coordinate axis because all questions over in this unit need the coordinate axis to even start thinking about them. And the first thing I want to do is notice or draw for myself where minus three comma ten is and six comma minus eight is. So I'm going to do that. Minus one, minus two, minus three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is where approximately my minus three comma ten is. Let's just mark that minus three comma ten. And where is six comma minus eight going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, six, seven, eight. That's approximately where that's going to be. So six comma minus eight or negative eight, usually. So uh, now what do I want? What is the line segment joining these two? I can just draw that line segment over here. That's a straight line. So let's draw it this way. That's the line segment joining the two of them. Not bad. Now what do I need to do? Minus one comma six. Where is that going to be? Minus one. Two, three, four, five, six. Not bad. This actually shows that our diagram is not uh, so too super unreasonable because I can see now that minus one comma six looks as if it will be on this line. And just by arriving here, I can see that I have a good idea of what my answer should be. Right? It's some like this length by this length. That's what they're asking me. Right? Find the ratio in which the line segment joining these two points is divided by minus one comma six. Is a long way of asking. Can you find this length by this length? Now, how do we do something like this? I want this length, and I want that to be divided by this length over here. Now, the moment I saw this question and I tried to solve it, my instinct was to say, "Okay, you want this distance by this distance. I know distance formula. I can just." Use distance formula because I know this point and this point. I can use distance formula to find this length. X two minus x one squared plus y two minus y one squared. The root whole root of that will give me that. And I can do the same thing over here to find this length. Then I just have to divide the two. And if you if you don't remember the distance formula, you can always just uh, take this length, this length, and then use Pythagoras theorem. That is the derivation of uh, distance formula. The derivation of distance formula. So you can do that. But and I encourage you to do it. Actually, that's that's how I did it at least in the beginning, and that's not a wrong way to do it. It's just a long way to do it, because you're being asked just the ratio of these two line segments, the lengths of these two line segments. You're not being asked to find the lengths. So why do you want to do more work than necessary? We do want to find just what's being asked, right? Like we want the lazy solution. So is there a clever way to find the ratio of this line segment by this line segment without actually finding the lengths themselves? So when you're asked, you'll say, "Hey, I know the ratio. I don't know the length, but I know the ratio." How do you do that? Now the clue is that this is a coordinate geometry problem, which means that all our distances are basically measured either horizontally or vertically, right? That's what we mean. That's why these are called rectangular coordinates. So in in when you have coordinates like this, where you're given like minus three comma ten, what does this really say? This is just saying that this point we have over here. Its address is minus three comma ten, or in other words, it's three units away distance from this line towards the left. That's why there's a negative sign, and it's ten units away from this line vertically, right? So, can I do something to make it so that I have vertical and horizontal lines in my way of approaching this question? Because my whole problem here, the reason I'm not solving this quickly, is that I have slanting lines. I need to find the ratio of this line by this line. But if I can somehow get it in terms of vertical lines or horizontal lines, my my job will become much easier because those distances are already given to me. So in an attempt to do that, what I will do is try and extend 
this over here extend this line down downwards and this towards the left now why i'm doing it is trying to see if i can connect in some way this length to some vertical or horizontal lens and i'm going to do the same with this one and also connect this now i've made some progress if you can see right because what i wanted was this line segment's length by this line segment's length but now that's the same as asking can you find the ratio of this this side of my triangle here by this side of the triangle and i like triangles i know a little bit about triangles so maybe i have a better chance let's let's take away the coordinate axis for a bit so that we can focus on what we have over here i have two triangles and i need to find the ratio of their sides and i know that whenever i think of ratio of sides of two triangles i begin to hope that they are similar because if they are then the ratio of this length by this length will be the same as the ratio of this length by this length or this length by this length right that's the definition of similar triangles so if i can show that these two triangles are similar i make like huge progress and this looks in this looks encouraging because these two triangles do look as if they would be similar and why am i why am i feeling so optimistic it's because i already know this angle is 90 degrees and i know that uh, this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 90 degrees and i can i now need to just look for one more angle to be equal and then i have a a similarity and i can pick i'm going to pick this one let's see i have this angle here and i have this angle over here and why are they those two look really equal but that's not enough can i explain why they are equal uh i can notice that this line and this line are definitely parallel because both are horizontal lines they are both parallel to this x axis and this actually is just a transversal that's cutting these two parallel lines which means this angle and this this angle are corresponding angles so this triangle is similar to this triangle which means our job our life has become much easier i don't need to care any more about this line segment by this line segment ratio i just care about this length by this length and that's much easier to find so let's stop right now and i would like you to uh, find this length find this length and that's and divide the two that's your ratio so let's do it so what is this length going to be finding vertical lengths in coordinate geometry just boils down to subtracting the y coordinates because th these just give you the vertical lengths anyway right so having this this 10 just means this entire length is 10 and 6 over here just means this distance is 6 so the gap between the two will be 10 minus 6 or 4 so that's the length of this side what about the length of this side similar story you have this 8 units below the x axis and this is 6 units above the x axis so if i have to like measure this whole distance this will be minus 8 this will be 6 and if i add the two i'll get 14 as my length of this entire line 14 which means i already have my ratio it is 14 by 4 sorry 4 by 14 the uh, the order does matter right the order matters because this by this is definitely not equal to the reciprocal so we have to depending on how they're asking the question which points coming first i need to answer it that way as well like if minus 3 comma 10 is given first i have to put this ratio first so now i have 4 by 14 or 2 by 7 let's use yellow equal to 2 over 7 I can also use the language of ratios to write this. You can maybe write this as two is two, seven. Now you may have wondered why did we pick the y-axis? I mean, you could have picked the x-axis. I mean, it's it's either of the two. Uh, which, if you have a preference for x specifically, then you can pick x. I just thought the y looked bigger over here, so I just picked it. But you can verify. You know, if you're in an exam setting and you want to be doubly sure, then you can verify. whether uh, your answer is correct by also checking with the x axis because the answer it can't be different so what is this length this length is uh, the x coordinate difference it's minus 1 over here minus 3 so the distance to walk from minus 1 to minus 3 is just 2 so this length is 2 what about this length it's 6 over here to minus 1 so you have to walk all the way to 0 from 6 and then walk another one to go to minus 1 so you have 7 over here 
seven. So you are getting the same ratio if you notice. Directly, in fact, in this case, two by seven. You don't even have to divide by two. So two over seven, or two is to seven. Now, what we did here is a somewhat unusual way to do this type of a problem. Because the most common approach uh, I've seen is to take uh, the ratio that we want as m is to n and uh, use the section formula for either the x coordinates or the y because in this case we have both given to us and get the answer. Now that's fine, you can totally do that if you want to. I just find this to be much more intuitive and easy to follow and I generally don't like to just be plugging things into a formula because it doesn't let me see what's going on. Uh, you can also sometimes cleverly, instead of taking the ratio as m is to n, you can take it as k is to 1 and solve the problem. Now, I want to tell you that actually what we did here is the section formula, but without using it. It, it is the derivation of the section formula for all practical purposes. If you had kept these as variables, you're actually just deriving the section formula. And if this seemed a little bit long to you, let me show you that the first couple of times you, you're noticing, oh, I need similar triangles and so on. But after that, you'll do this really quickly. How? Because you will read this question and you go, okay, the two points are minus three comma 10 and six comma minus eight and they divided by minus one comma six. You don't need like, because you, you don't need both the coordinates. You can just pick one of them, you know that. So you'll just pick say the X and say, how far is this point from this point X coordinate wise? Minus three to minus one, the distance is two. So you'll just say two. Uh, how far is the X coordinate of this point from this point? You'll say, okay, six to minus one, that's seven units away. To go from six to minus one, I have to walk seven to seven units, I'm done. That's it. We could have even deleted some information from this. If I had not given the y coordinates at all, you can see you can still solve the problem. I just have to say it's minus three comma something, six comma something, and minus one comma something. Or I could have flipped it, just given the y coordinates, and that's enough. This question actually has way more information than needed to solve the problem.